going on, YouTube? It's James Shrapper, and it's Battle Report. We've got another Battle Report for today. It's the Old World Adepticon 2024 round number two, guys. Guys, it's your boy James here with another Battle Report. Guys, my first opponent quit. He quit on round two and a half. Uh, he did not want to play anymore. Um, so I ended up getting a big win. I went to Rick Fisher, and I was like, hey, Rick, man, I got my opponent quit. And he goes, well, you get a 20. I go, I know. And then Rick tells me, hold on, <coughs> there, we, there we go, had to get that out of my system. Rick tells me, dude, you got best paint already, or, or at least cap paint points, I should say, not best paint. Um, and you got a big win, he's like, you're the guy to beat, and I was like, I know, right? Uh, so he goes, at, I go ahead and I'm going to play Tim O'Brien round two, guys. Guys, um, I like I said, I, in my last battle report, I ended up having like two or three hours to kill in between the games. So it took me a while to, to wait for them to actually uh, give out the list on who we're playing next. Uh, Tim O'Brien is a guy who used to play 6th edition, 5th edition, 7th edition, 8th edition, and 9th age for a short period of time. He said he was at Buckeye Battles. I never met the guy. This is the first time I ever met him. Uh, for the record, out of all, my, all six rounds of... Old World uh, that I played in uh, Adepticon. This guy is by far the favorite. I gave him uh, my best sports vote, and he ended up winning the best sportsman at the end of the tournament. Um, let's go over his list really quick. Let's go over my list really quick. Uh, this is also the game where I met John Bailey. So if you guys already saw that part on the last video, that's this is basically where I met him. Um, but let's go over his list really quick. I do have it up somewhere close on my computer. Tim O'Brien. All right. <clears throat> He has a general, he's a Dark Elf player, by the way, and I'm going to continue to say Dread Elf out of just habit, but I mean Dark Elf when I say Dread, okay? Uh, but he's a Dark Elf Dreadlord, okay? Uh, he has a Ogre Blade, he's on a Dark Steed, he has the Sea Dragon Cloak Talisman of Protection, all the Dark Elf rules. He has a Supreme Sorceress, a, a bitch, more or less, a Sorceress Witch. Um, but basically, she is a on a level 4 illusion with the Dark Steed, Black Staff, three Focus Familiars, which he will use constantly in this game. Uh, he does have a Death Hag, which is on a Cauldron of Blood. And uh, this thing is pretty nasty, I think, more or less. He has the 24 Witch Elves with the banner of Harganeth. I don't even know what that does. Harganeth. All right. Uh, he has 10 repeater crossbows. Uh, he has five Dark Riders. He has five Harpies, five Harpies, eight Cold Ones, a repeater bolt thrower, a repeater bolt thrower, and that is that. For me, I do have my two Mangler Squids, uh, Squigs, Cujo and Toto, my dogs. <laughs> I got my spiders, uh, which I don't, I forgot my spiders, so basically it's just that black tray that you see in the middle of the field right there. I have Jigo, my sun worshiper. I have my night goblins, the evil green moon worshippers. I got my my big old Arachnorok spider, Koopa, that fat bastard. I got my uh, Rampagers, the boar boys. I got my general war boss, Dread, Iron Tooth. I got my two squig hopper characters, the purple people eater and the big cheese. And then I also have my black orcs now we're deploying we have the two sections where we cannot deploy anything in this map so it's 18 inches to the right 18 inches to the left we can't deploy shit but we could go ahead and take a res couple reserve units as long as they're not characters and deploy them in those zones at um secretly so we secretly write down which side we're going to put our stuff on. I put I picked left, he picked left, so we're on opposite ends here. I thought basically there's going to be a battle in the middle. There was not, obviously, because you can see he's right he right side focused. I am middle focused. Um, and then I also kind of had a, a traffic jam because I have so many models, but my frontage is so wide, and then there's this fucking terrain right in the middle of my deployment. So I put my general back there just in case I get shot turn one, roughly. Um, and then my spider and my mangler were my, my haha. And I pulled them out to the left side. We rolled for the terrain. The woods are both dangerous terrain, so I think we both just want to stay clear of the woods. Uh, and then everything else basically is deployed how you see. Now, uh, as you can see, for him, he ends up having, I'm just going to zoom in here. He has his cold ones with his two characters there in that unit. He has his witch elves, his blood cauldron. He has his repeaters, his dark riders, and then his two bolt throwers in the back. Uh, turn one, dark elves, dark elves, turn one. Uh, he doesn't really move much. He decides to just kind of move his harpies up to get ready for a, a flank charge, a rear charge, an easy kill wizard, stuff like that. Um, what he did not expect was that both my manglers are on the flanks. Um, and as you can see, he's just like, haha, I'm going to hide here in this forest so you can't shoot me with magic or anything. And I was like, okay. Um, same thing on this side. He's just like, aha, I'm out of the flank of your, your mangler. And I was like, okay. Um, over here, he's going to shoot his bolt thrower into my goblins. I think he 
fails to kill a goblin, actually. I think he just failed to shoot, to be fair. Um, and then he ends up dropping this vortex, the black horror. Oh, magic. I'm so sorry. Let's go over magic really quick. Uh, magic, go back a couple pictures here. I got a one, four, five, and a three. So basically, it was a vindictive glare, evil sun shining. Uh, I got, here we go, here we go, here we go. And then I got uh, the three I replaced with the Itchy Nuisance for my opponent. He ended up getting, whoops, uh, Black Horror, Mind Razor, Confounding Convocation, and Miasma Mirage. He, I believe he had other spells that uh, might come up later. But he goes ahead and he drops his Vortex here of his Black Horror. This thing does a lot of work for him. It's going to be turn one. Orcs and Goblins, Orcs and Goblins, turn one. The uh, I get Evil Sun shining up. He lets it go, obviously. And then his Vortex moves under the terrain here. Um, over here... <clears throat> I do itchy nuisance onto these harpies because he has no idea what's coming as this mangler just went <laughs> boom, ran right into them. I think I rolled like a 15 on movement and uh, I don't think he realized that the manglers could wheel. <laughs> that was a shock. A shock, I tell you. <laughs> uh, on the left side, I did the same thing, but I don't have a picture of it. He was just like, oh, I just learned something about random movers. I'm like, yep. Uh, my school, my uh, spider riders are gonna go ahead and shoot into his cold ones. I end up doing a single wound, uh, AP one, AP one because of uh, the evil sun shining. So I end up killing off one guy, uh, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and kill both harpies off. I kind of left everything out of his range of his cold ones, but we'll see how this goes. It's gonna start off turn two, dark elves, dark elves turn two. Uh, he ends up doing a marasmic, marasmic, miasmic mirage onto dread here. Uh, and as you can see, he barely does any moving. He's deciding he's going to shoot the shit out of me. That's what he's going to do. That's his plan. All right. Uh, and also, by the way, it looks like uh, my my sun worshiper took a wound going into the woods. Um, over here is his bolt thrower ends up shooting a wound into two wounds into uh, Cujo. His repeater bolt throwers. They put down my dog, man. Uh, I, I last time this happened, I put the arms of the angel song up with Sarah McLaughlin, but I got I got a copyright ban on me on that that video, so I can't do that. All right, anyways, uh, he ends up doing another wound out to the purple people. Or sorry, this is actually the big cheese. Uh, and then his it's gonna start off my turn. Orcs and goblins turn two. Orcs and goblins turn two. His vortex goes boo 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 goes through literally almost everything. Hits my goblins, kills a goblin, does a wound onto my uh, Jigo, and does a uh, does not do a wound to my general. Um, over here, I'm going to go ahead and shoot my, uh, what is it called, my vindictive glare. Bow, into this guy right here. And uh, I end up doing two wounds as he fails his ward save. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a Ruby Ring of Ruin into his bitch elves, and his bitch elves burn, baby, burn, burn them witches at the stake. I end up doing seven wounds to these bitches. Um, and he made a fatal mistake. He has two units that are frenzied and said, oh yeah, they're frenzied. So I go ahead and I drop my spider riders right there, like, oh, please. Uh, now, the one thing in the old world is the overruns on Swift Stride units is actually much bigger than it used to be. So that's very dangerous right here, but I figure I had a safe enough range. What I wanted to do is going to happen, more or less. I go ahead and I put the, the Spider Riders here. It's going to start off his turn. Dark Elves turn three. Dark Elves turn three. He fails his stupidity check and stumbles forward. His Bitch Elves are at the start of the turn. I pop out my Fanatics. I pop out my Fanatics. Fuck this guy. Now, my Fanatics did have casualties. I lost the ball and the cow. They both broke off. So, basically, I have two Fanatics just kind of swinging chains, I guess. And the other one is still swinging his balls. Um, but I popped them out because I know he has to Frenzy check and go into... Not even a check. It's just a Frenzy charge. He has to charge my Spider Riders with his Bitch Elves into my flank. Uh, and then his other guy, since he cannot see that uh, Spider Riders, he has to charge my Big Cheese. Uh, so he gets in here, hits the flank. I have to close the door to him, basically, because that the impassable terrain is in the way. Uh, but it is totally legal. Uh, over here, he gets into my guy over here. I start just throwing fanatics, like, oh, it's compulsory turn, let me just fanatic, 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 and I throw the first one, and boom, two bitch elves, uh, not even killing a single uh, cold one, next one goes, boom, hits more bitch elves, kills off several cold ones, and then the third one goes through, boom, killing off only one cold one, and I don't even think I killed any witch elves. Oh, crap. That neutered his army. That neutered his army. And also, by the way, my spiders are dead. My spiders are totally dead. Fuck those guys. Um, he kills my big cheese. 
This forces him, since he's out of combat, he has to overrun with the Frenzy units. So the first Frenzy unit just runs into the rock. The other Frenzy unit just keeps running that way. He puts him out of combat for at least two turns. And that thing is slow. The Blood of Cauldron is slow as hell by itself without a unit nearby. It's going to start off my turn. Orcs and Goblins turn three. Orcs and Goblins turn three. This fucking Vortex keeps going. Goes through Koopa. Does a wound through Koopa. God damn. Uh, Koopa is going to charge into his cold one. So is my general. Koopa! Boom! Right there. Now, I'm trying to have the Black Orcs come in. I'm trying to have my Manglers come in. It's just that he's so goddamn far because he's in the corner. Um, basically, my General and Koopa have to do all the heavy lifting at the moment. My my Boar Boys just push up really aggressive right now uh, because I have to. There's He's going to shoot me at this moment, and his right now is the turn to use while his Blood Codger is facing the wrong way. I'm going to do that. Uh, combat. Over here, he challenges with his general. My general accepts. My general does a single wound to him. I think he does a wound to me. My uh, Koopa on the flank, though. Koopa ends up only killing off one rider, okay, which I think is actually the banner. Okay, so I should give Koopa an extra 50 points. But what ends up happening here is I have a charge, or sorry, not a charge. I have a flank. I did one wound there, one wound there. That's three wounds. It doesn't look like he did a single wound to me. Uh, and I have two closed orders. Now, he does have a closed order. He has, that's it. He's down by four. He's going to lose. He runs, and he actually gets away. Uh, I think he actually think he gets a, uh, what is that called? Give ground. I think that's what he rolled. He rolled like a, a four on the two dice and gave ground. Puts Koopa in a bad spot because Koopa really doesn't know what to do. I just basically turned Koopa this way so he could get out in a charge if he needs to. Um, but we're going to see what happens next. It's going to stop turn four. Dark Elves, Dark Elves, turn four. This fucking god damn vortex goes through the purple people eater it looks like it killed some goblins too um uh, did two wounds that's the purple people eater um uh, over here his fucking bitch else have to charge my general and he's like i don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing or what but he's like i just i gotta do it at least i'll get a flank uh, i think we had the conversation about is the character still in co in a challenge because we didn't finish that fight but we gave ground if we gave ground or fall back in good order my assumption is you to continue doing the fight uh the challenge until you literally break from combat um but he gets into the flank, of course, and at first I was like, oh, he can't, this is the ninth age brain in me, I'm like, oh, he can't even get in because he's going to hit the terrain. No, 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 he could totally get through. He ignores the fucking terrain. Goddamn. All right, uh, over here he's going to continue shooting at me, he shoots two boar boys dead. Good, shot him dead. Uh, and then his fucking vortex, God damn it, kills off a of black orc. It's going to be turn four, orcs and goblins, orcs and goblins, turn four. Uh, there's my dead black orc. Uh, I end up doing itchy nuisance onto this guy here. I'm, my plan is, I don't want to fight this. I just don't want to fight it. It has a lot of poison, has a lot of attacks, has always strikes first. Uh, gonna go ahead and shoot him with bow shots, and bow shots end up doing a wound or two to him. Uh, it looks like, yeah, I did two wounds to him. I don't know if it was just the bows or if it was the bows and my, like, my, my ruby ring. Um, over here, my boar boys charged into the repeater bolt throwers. I end up killing off five of them. They are gonna lose combat, and I am going to, uh, just push into them. Uh, over here, close combat, my general ends up killing his general. Holy shit. Holy shit. Um, I did, I think, only two wounds, though. Uh, so I think he actually wins combat. But I'm going to stick there, give ground, which I can't really do much because I'm going to bump into my spider. And it's going to start off my turn. Orcs and Goblins turn four. Orcs and Goblins turn four. Koopa! Boom! Goes into these guys. He's going to kill off the bitch elves. This is going to be a big win right here. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like I did much else other than that i think my magic flubbed i think my shooting flubbed the boar boys ended up killing off the uh, the repeaters and going into one of the bolt throwers i'm just trying to pick up points at this point um and then koopa and my general will finish off these two units my general actually fails to catch the guy up there but koopa does run down the witch elves and uh it's gonna start off turn five Dark Elves, Dark Elves turn five. Uh, not much going on. He's just basically trying to trap me with his, his cauldron. He's going to try to shoot me with everything else. Uh, yeah. Let's go. Uh, over here, close combat. I basically challenge with the champ. I, I kill his champ. I overkill the champ, and I'm going to make that, that sorcerer's run off the table. Um, over here, like I said, I kill off the, the repeaters, and I'm going to charge a bolt thrower next. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I end up doing Evil Sun, Itchy Nuisance onto this guy. Still trying to do some wounds onto him, uh, but I think I, again, flub it up. Uh, I did one. One wound. Over here, Koopa looks like he just killed off some snacks. I think it was the bolt thrower. And then, as you can see, my, my boar boys are going for that extra bolt thrower. Um, turn six. 
Dark Elves. Dark Elves turn six. He's going to try this long bomb charge into Koopa. He fails it. Um, over here, he's just going to shoot into my boar boys. Oh, no, he shoots into Koopa. He ends up killing Koopa off. Looks like my general pushed his, his uh, sorceress off. And, uh, yeah, that's how the table looks. I'm going to continue shooting wounds into that guy. I end up doing one more wound. He's going to live with a couple wounds. And uh, that's how the table looks. He's killed my spider, the Arachnorock. He killed Cujo. And I think that's roughly it. The, the big cheese. That's about it. I killed his, most of his stuff. I have I, I didn't kill his blood cauldron, which is kind of like, meh. You know, but I did put up six wounds. I think I get quarter points or something like that, um, unless he's like up to ten. But overall, I it, it's a big orc and goblin victory. Still have my general, still have my wizards to have, still have a, a good chunk of my force left. He knows he's gonna lose, uh, and we call the game. I believe. Uh, let's hear what he has to say about this game. Tim here. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Like I guess. Like, it, like I said, I don't, they always hear from me. I want to hear what you have to say. All right. So, Tim O'Brien, um, long-time old fantasy player, coming back to old world. Second game, awesome game. Uh, both of my first two opponents have been fantastic. Um, it's really awesome to see the Orcs and Goblins, a, a powerhouse again, and you really put them to good work. So, uh, good job at doing that. Thank you. Yeah, and you definitely didn't have one of the broken lists, you know, yet. Took advantage of a lot of that movement. Your general was awesome. Um, I prefer not to uh, be stupid with dark elves when it counts, but you'll see that, I guess, in the battle report. Or, so, or you can do move away from the spiders. No, as long as I stayed with that uh, flat frontage with the building on my side, yeah. at least you wouldn't have been able to flank, you. flank front with your general and your yeah. after rock. It's yeah. a bad combo. Well, well if, you, if you actually backed up, I don't think I could charge with my general. I think you would get too far. I wouldn't want to leave my witch elves hanging out in the air if yeah. I had done that. Because, um, you know, they're almost naked unless you get the five aboard from the cauldron. Yeah. Um, yeah, but dark elves, I like playing them. They give you a lot of flexibility. Uh, and so... I stopped taking Savage Orcs because of the Frenzy, man. Frenzy, yeah. The Frenzy is just murderous. Yeah, Frenzy can bust you up. But honestly, sometimes the Harpies that I bring can help you to prevent those charges. You yeah. can kind of sprinkle them in front. Yeah. But in this game, I thought, oh, cool, I'm going to be able to get them around the sides. It's a learning experience when the, mo yeah. the yeah. movement uh, snakes them around and is able to charge them right off the get. Yeah, sure. that those the random movers are my hidden weapon. Yeah, the random movers are my hidden weapon. Um, my friend Phil, he's like, people don't expect them just to turn and go. So that I mean, there's four of them. So <laughs> yeah, they do some work. Yeah, yeah. All right, man. Thanks for the game. I don't have a free hand here. Hey, man, thanks for the game and good luck in number three. <laughs> thanks. I think I'm gonna have to play a broken list next. Well, most likely, listen, you're, you're rocking the house, so you're gonna move all the way up to the end of this row, probably yeah. one or two. Yeah. Because uh, yeah, you're doing great. All right. Hey, Thanks, man. Any other time, I'll play you. All awesome. right. Where are you from? Uh, upstate New York. Okay. From, wow, yeah. from New York. That's why I never played you. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll uh, you might get a big tournament going up there eventually. We always did old Warhammer Fantasy. We get 120 guys to come up to that tournament. Yeah. Then we went Kings of War. But now that Old World's out, we may start building out an Old World scene. So you may see it. It's called Crossroads. Crossroads GT. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll keep an eye out. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. Are you putting on Best Coast Pairing or on uh, New Recruit? Oh, he's... He, so, Corey Reynolds is the organizer, and he posted all over the place, but right now it's still giant for Kings of War. They get 100-plus people, teams of four, to come out in the end of September. It's one of the best Kings of War scenes that there is. Um, but we'll we'll build it out and spread the word all over. Best Coast Pairings, we'll put it anywhere we can find it. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. Okay, Thanks, again. man. Peace. Take it easy. Yeah, so like I said, Tim was probably my favorite opponent for the whole tournament uh, period, the whole weekend. Um, he basically was an extremely knowledgeable and friendly guy. Um, he didn't take anything to heart. He, I think in this game, more or less, I had the MVP was probably... I, it's torn up between me, okay? Uh, number one, Dread took the most points. Dread took... Uh, let's see. I have it somewhere listed around here. Dread took 724 points, the most out of anybody in this uh, game. Uh, 724 points, putting him at the top spot at uh, number one at 924 points. But 
the other unsung hero is those fanatics. The fanatics fucked up majority of his units. The fanatics did 414 points of damage. 414 points. Basically weakening up everything he had. So I didn't have to kill all the bitch elves. I didn't have to kill all the cold ones. Basically I did because the fanatics did it. You know what I mean? So that was impressive. Impressive. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and give a split MVP here. Uh, right now, Dread is in first place. Night Goblin is in second place. Koopa is in third place. And then it goes down to Toto, Kujo, the Rampagers, Evil Sun, the Spiders before my Black Orcs and before the Big Cheese and before the Purple People Eater. Those, those three at the bottom have zero points. Um, overall, it was a lot of fun. Uh, I am correct. I am going to have to play a shitty, broken-ass list the next game. And I'm just going to have to deal with it. This is basically what it is. I'm just going to have to deal with it. Um, at this moment, Rick is telling me, James... People love your paint job. You're probably going to get best paint unless you win. And if you win, I can't help you. He's like, so maybe you should lose to get best paint. I looked at Rick in the face and I was like, Rick, are you fucking serious, bro? I don't want to paint. I have like 50 paint awards. I have one from Serbia. I was like, I don't really need more paint awards. I want to win this. And he's like, oh, James, if I can get you both, I will get you both. And I was like, Rick, it's fine. I need to win this, man. So he is watching closely the guy who ended up, uh, um, one of the guys who's up for best paint, I should say. He's also at two wins, the same as me. So this game could be really close. If I could win or he could win, and it could be really neck and neck. So we're going to go ahead and see how that goes. But there's other people on my ass. I'm just going to go ahead and show you this, I guess. Um, but uh, what's his name? Blue from Square Hammer. He's on two victories as well, 20 and 20. Corey Spath is another guy. He has 20 and 20. Uh, those are the two that are right on my ass. And then also the guy that I'm playing um, is his. No, that, that's Maddie's, his wife. Uh, where is he? There's this guy, Nicholas. He has a 20 20. Uh, but at, the point, at this point, I'm, again, I'm just like, you know what? I'm not going to worry about them. I have better paint than them. This is one thing that I'm really digging about the old world. It's just the fact that I have paint. You know what I mean? That I have that opportunity to give me a little bit of a boost to know that uh, I'm not only doing good, but I am a good painter. And that matters. It matters so much that I'm selling my services on... Um, you can reach out to me and I'll do banners for you and I will also do commission paint jobs for you. That is something that I offer. <laughs> um, that was a nice segue, wasn't it? Anyways, uh, this guy right here, he uh, Michael, he ended up uh, paying me to paint these four banners. And basically, uh, since then, he saw them on my last video and he decided he wanted even more banners to be painted, which is great. But for those of you who are interested, please reach out to me. Right now, I'm currently painting uh, more of John's Undead Horde and uh, Joe is sending me out some dwarfs, uh, some infernal dwarf stuff. Uh, so that's all going to be painted up very soon. But if you guys have any interest, um, I am right now open for business. I am trying to uh, just get some money so I can help go to more tournaments and do more events like this. Uh, I am trying to also look up for my last round opponent. I don't see where the hell he's at. I just don't see it. I think it's under his wife's name. Um, that doesn't make any sense, though. Hmm. I don't know. Don't know. Let me see if I can just find it. If I just put his there, it is. Uh, yeah, uh, my, my next round opponent is Calvin Nevsger from South Dakota. Um, all right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I enjoyed making it. Uh, if you guys haven't checked out MovementTrade.com, check out MovementTrade.com. Uh, and I'm trying to think of what else, man. I, this game was a lot of fun. Like I said, the guy, the guy uh, wins best sportsman uh, for this tournament uh, for Adepticon. But yeah, the next round is going to be the final round for Adepticon 2024. Will I win it? Some of you already know. Some of you are on my Facebook and Instagram and know this already. Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed that. I enjoyed making it. Sorry it was really fast. Um, I, I guess these games are just really fast. I was used to making 40-minute videos on Ninth Age, but these these games are just kind of much more, you know, fast-paced gaming. Uh, I got to say that that guy's Vortex, though, fucking sucked. That fucking Vortex sucked. It kicked my ass, okay? Uh, besides that, yeah, I'm just trying to think of anything to say at this point, and I'm just going to leave you here. Take care, and peace.